Now, CapKview First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Kristen Walls. And we had some fairly mild temperatures yesterday for some locations in the upper 50s. Now, it does continue early this morning. There are some spots in the 50s, but of course, that's accompanied by the wind, which has been picking up. Not too bad for Richland's Columbia Point and parts of the Tri-Cities, but we do have a wind advisory that is in place for the foothills of the Blues. In effect now, and that goes through 4 a.m. on Tuesday, gusts in the advisory area, which include Dayton, Walla Walla, and Pendleton, could be between 45 to 55 miles per hour. And we are looking at some sustained winds early this morning, close to 20 from Walla Walla down into Pendleton, up to about seven in the Tri Cities, so not too bad early on. And I think a majority of the Columbia Basin and the Tri Cities will stay light today, but then later tonight, and especially for your Tuesday, will start to pick up. There's your current wind gust in Walla Walla, currently close to 30 miles per hour. Now, with these winds, uh, we're seeing those temperatures up to 56 already in Walla Walla, 53 in Pendleton. 50 degrees in the Tri-Cities. That's all due to those downsloping winds, but much colder out to uh, the, in, out to our west in the Yakima Valley with 36 in Yakima. And then Ellensburg, good morning to you. You're at 38 degrees. We are seeing some rain showers that are popping up early this morning on Skywatch radar as a frontal system continues to impact the Pacific Northwest. Highest chances for some rain showers around the Yakima Valley this morning. Uh, and then pretty dry from the Tri-Cities into the foothills of the Blues. There's that winter weather advisory that is in place for for the eastern slopes that will go through 10 p.m. tonight and mainly above 4,000 feet. That'll be the snow level uh, that we're expecting. So up to about six inches above 4,000 feet. You can see the rain showers that are coming down around Seattle and Portland. So certainly a soggy start on the west side today. And the latest check through Snoqualmie Pass, which is below 4,000 feet. There's some rain showers that are coming down there at the moment. So no travel restrictions if you're heading in that direction. So radar, uh, future cast as we take you throughout Early this morning, we'll have a few showers that'll pop up around the Yakima and the Kittitas Valley. Still mainly dry for the Tri-Cities. And then a few spotty rain showers for uh, the majority of our area for this afternoon. We'll continue to have a rain shower or two out the door for your Tuesday morning before turning, uh, looking at that sunshine for Tuesday afternoon, although it's going to be a breezy day tomorrow. Some of our wind gusts up to 25 for the majority of our area, including the Tri-Cities. A few showers, maybe even a little bit of a snow flurry for parts of our area on Wednesday morning and then turning drier for your Wednesday afternoon. So temperatures out there for this afternoon. We're looking at upper 40s from Toppenish into Yakima. Cleelum today up to 40 degrees. Close to 60 in the Tri-Cities with 61 in Hermiston and then 61 as well for Walla Walla. Close to 60 in Dayton. So tonight we'll have those lows dipping down through the upper 30s and low 40s. It is going to be a breezy night tonight and then just a few rain showers expected. So there's your seven day. Maybe a morning shower there on Tuesday. Breezy day. Uh, for Wednesday, we'll have a lingering shower early on and then really drying things out towards the end of the week. And the majority of the seven day will be above average. 55 on Friday. And then your seven day forecast for Yakima. You'll have a slight chance for maybe a rain or snow mix early on in the day, then turning drier Wednesday afternoon with a high of 44.